Hello, friends. I'm Pastor Pitts Evans. Welcome to the Whole Word Podcast. Let's get right to the Word of God. Psalm 119 is the longest psalm in the entire set of psalms, and in fact, it's the longest chapter in the Bible. We're breaking it into 11 parts, so the part today is part two. The content is all about the Word of God and the magnificent benefits for those who live by it. It's full of faith decrees and lavish promises from God's Word, and it's divided into an acrostic poem with phrases, uh, 22 sections, beginning with the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. So there are 22 eight um, verse sections. Today we'll look at um, verse 17 through 32. So listen now as I read Psalm 119, verse 17 through 32. Be good to your servant while I live, so that I may obey your word. Open my eyes, that I may see wonderful things in your law. I am a stranger on earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. You rebuke the arrogant, who are accursed, those who stray from your commands. Remove me from their scorn and contempt, for I keep your statutes. Though rulers sit together and slander me, your servant will meditate on your decrees. Your statutes are my delight. They are my counselors. I am laid low in the dust. Preserve my life according to your word. I gave an account of my ways, and you answered me. Teach me your decrees. Cause me to understand the way of your precepts, that I might meditate on your wonderful deeds. My soul is weary with sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Keep me from deceitful ways. Be gracious to me and teach me your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I have set my heart on your laws. I hold fast to your statutes. Lord, do not let me be put to shame. I run in the path of your commands, for you have broadened my understanding. Beautiful principles and maxims are put forth in a Proverbs-like fashion. So once again, the first eight verses of this section begin with the Hebrew letter Gimel. Just FYI, if you're not a Hebrew speaker. Many of you may have printed Bibles that actually have um, the 22 divisions of this psalm and then a printed Hebrew letter dividing each section. It's not that way in all of my Bibles, but I definitely have some that are that way. Look when you get a chance and then you'll see what I'm referring to. But the first section begins with the letter Gimel. Gimel, the Hebrew letter Gimel, and it is a, a prayer request concerning the uh, uh, the goodness of the Lord. Verse 17, be good to your servant while I live so that I may obey your word. Now, that's an interesting uh, convergence of two ideas. It's not first I'll obey your word, therefore be good to me. It's be good to me so that I may obey your word. <laughs> I like that. It's a sort of a prayer request and worded in an interesting way. Then there's a prayer request for spiritual insight into God's Word, or actually into God's Torah, God's law. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. And we need that, friends. We need the Lord to open our spiritual eyes so that we can really see beyond the surface of the page. The surface of the page contains uh, letters and, and print and so forth, but We don't stop at the surface of the page. We peer through the Word of God to see the God of the Word. And as the the Bible teaches us, Jesus is the Word personified. So these uh, wonderful things in the Word of God ultimately point us to Jesus. We're acknowledged uh, by the psalmist to be citizens of another realm. Verse 19, I am a stranger on earth. Do not hide your commands from me. Many of you may remember the book by the late C.S. Lewis, Stranger in a Strange Land. It's a fairly famous book, and there are songs by that title. I remember one by a musician named Leon Russell. In verse 20, there's a continuous longing for God's Word. 
verse 20, my soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. And uh, I, I too long for the, the word of God. I long for uh, grace to remember it. I long for grace to live it out. I long for it to become part of my being. The arrogant are then defined as those who um, stray from God's word. Verse 21, you rebuke the arrogant who are accursed, those who stray from your commands. So an interesting definition. The arrogant that are accursed are those who stray from the Lord's commands. There's a prayer for protection from the scorn of the arrogant. Remove from me their scorn and contempt, for I keep your statutes. And so, Lord, um, we do ask that you would defend us against the arrogant that don't understand um, our trying to live according to your ways and your word. Regardless of the setting, the psalmist pledges to meditate on God's decrees. Verse 23, though rulers sit together and slander me, your servant will meditate on your decrees. Now, sometimes this is difficult when the, the world around us is, is um, in turmoil. But we are, as servants of the Lord, to meditate on His Word continually. We delight in the Bible, and it guides our lives, our decisions. Verse 24, your statutes are my delight. They are my counselors. And Lord, we do indeed delight in your Word. The next eight verses begin with the Hebrew letter Dalit. Verse 25, I am laid low in the dust. Preserve my life according to your Word. And so the psalmist is um, offering up a prayer for the preservation of his life according to the promises of God's Word. The Lord um, responds to honest confession. It says, I gave an account of my ways, and you answered me. To give an account of our ways is to confess our ways to the Lord. It says, you answered me. And then he asks, teach me your decrees. And uh, Lord, we do want to have honesty in our confessions and our conversations with you. Help us with that. Next, a request is made for spiritual understanding. Verse 27, cause me to understand the way of your precepts so that I might meditate on your wonderful deeds. To that, we simply say amen. Verse 28, um, my soul is weary with sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. So in times of of depression and sadness and sorrow and loss, we turn to God's Word for comfort. God's Word strengthens us in these times. The psalmist um, asked the Lord for protection. Keep me from deceitful ways. Be gracious to me and teach me your law. And Lord, we need your protection from being deceived. There are many deceivers in the world. Lord, uh, the path of Jesus is a narrow way, and the world is a superhighway of deceitful ways. Be gracious to us and teach us the ways of Christ. Teach us your ways. Two faith decrees are in verse 30. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I have set my heart on your laws. May we do likewise, friends. May we choose the way of faithfulness. May we set our hearts on God's laws. Um, There's a prayer request. Lord, do not let me be put to shame. I hold fast to your statutes. So, Lord, um, never let us be put to shame before God or man. Lord, we'll live in agreement with your word as you give us clear instructions how to do so. The psalm closes, um, verse 32, this section closes in verse 32 with these words. I run in the path of your commands, for you have broadened my understanding. And we do. We walk our our lives out, run our lives out in the path of God's ways, in the path of God's will. And so, Lord, according to all these wonderful faith decrees and prayer requests, we ask you, Lord, to be good to us so that we may obey your word. Open our eyes so that we may see wonderful things in your law. Lord, our souls are consumed for longing for you and your word. Give us a greater hunger for us, Lord. Remove scorn and contempt from those around us toward us. Lord, help us to meditate on your decrees, no matter what those around us are doing or saying. Help us, Lord, to meditate on your word day and night. Help us, Lord, to know your ways. Teach us your decrees. 
cause understanding to come our way, that we might understand and live by your words. Lord, be gracious to us. We love you, Lord. Show us the way of faithfulness. Lead us in the paths of life. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Whole Word. It was brought to you by Whole Word Fellowship and the Northern Virginia House of Prayer. If you were encouraged, please share our podcast with your friends. We'd also appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe in your favorite podcast app and take a few moments to write a review. If you'd like more information on our church and our ministry, you can go to wholeword.net or wholewordpodcast.com for more information. Thank you again, and may the Lord Jesus bless you today and always.